What's up everybody? So uh, today is a new day. It's Saturday. We're going into the third week of tax season. So this is the third Saturday we have filmed. And uh, I hope some of y'all are enjoying the vlog videos. I know there's been more vlog type videos up on the channel than car reviews lately. But unfortunately, just haven't really had a whole lot of cars to review in the past uh, couple weeks. You know, we got inventory. We do, but again guys, if something special comes in to review, I definitely will review it, but right now I don't have a lot of extra time to be putting into reviewing some of these basic cars like Toyota Camrys and, and stuff like that, but when something special comes, I will review it. And uh, one car I'd love to get my hands on and review is the Porsche right there. And. Uh, Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll do a review on it today. Who knows, right? That would be kind of fun. But anyways, we'll see what happens from there. Let's go ahead and walk to the back of the store real quick. I gotta walk back here to my car and grab a few things and uh, let's chit chat a little bit on the way there. But before we do, let's go ahead and get the intro started to this video. Here we go. everybody so today is March 9th 2019 it's my son's birthday today so Jax if you happen to be watching I love you and happy birthday to my my son Jackson what a great kid he is man I'm telling you he today he turns seven years old and of course I'm at work we should be having a huge birthday party on such a beautiful day but uh, anyways that's coming promise you but let's go ahead and walk over to a restaurant right over the way here because there is some beautiful cars over here and some beautiful motorcycles and uh, I don't think I've ever came over here and even checked out this place but anyways right behind me here is the Harvest Moon restaurant and uh, it looks kind of tiny from right here got this wide-angle lens on my camera makes everything look small in the background but uh, let's check it out man this place looks pretty cool and uh, the car I want to show you is a really awesome looking Bel Air. Well, as you can see everybody, the weather is absolutely gorgeous today. I mean, the sun is out. Um, the, the temperature has kind of rised up into the upper 70s. And uh, today's weather is great. Let's take a look at this super old school classic Chevrolet Bel Air. What a beautiful car it is. I mean, check that out. I mean, if that couldn't be the perfect color on a Bel Air in red, and wow, that is really cool. This is a two-door version of it. I believe they did have a four-door version of the Bel Air. But anyways, uh, a friend of ours here on YouTube, Angry Grandpa, has a Bel Air. And uh, I don't think, I think, I think Angry Grandpa's Bel Air is red with the white top. And maybe it's a four-door. Not exactly sure. But some of y'all watching right now might be able to help me out on that. But what a cool looking car. I mean, isn't that beautiful? It's got the wheels. I mean, it's just really awesome. Anyway, let's see if we can find the owner to the car today and maybe he can give us a little bit of information about it. Okay, I haven't been to Walker in years. Yeah. But, okay, there's a shopping mall. Yeah, on, and you take 64. Okay, Highway 64. Out of Walterboro. Okay, out of Walterboro. Yeah. And you go, you last traffic light, and then you go down in a deep swamp, you uh -huh. rise a hill and make a curve. Okay. And when you make that curve, you got to be careful because the paved road is going right back that way. Uh huh. And he's down that paved road. And so I'm out here filming, as y'all saw, and this old elderly gentleman walks up. Super nice guy that owns the Bel Air there. Said it's a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. But anyways, uh, he just gave me a lead on a man that has a 80 foot by 100 foot garage with nothing but mint condition cars in it. We gotta go check it out, it's out in Walter Road. Let's check this out though. Have a good day buddy. You too, thank you. I tell you man, that's what it's all about sometimes with being a YouTuber guys. I gotta remember that, that sometimes you have to get out there, you gotta meet people, you gotta shake hands with them. That's how you get out there and find cars to do reviews on. So anyways, that was really cool, man. 
Um, so I'm going to probably follow up with the man that he told me about and go check out those cars at the garage out in Walterboro. That's pretty interesting. Um, anyways, Harvest Moon, you got to come out and check it out if you're ever out in the Ravenel Hollywood area. Um, the food is absolutely delicious. Um, I, I, you know, again, I work at the car store right there, so uh, I mean, it's literally a skip, hop, and a jump, and I'm right here in the parking lot. But their cheeseburgers are absolutely delicious. They, um, I don't get them all the time, but if you're hungry and you want a good sized cheeseburger and a fresh cooked burger, this is the place to come to. I mean, it puts Hardy's $6 burger to shame. I think that's what they called it, right? Anyways, I mean, Hardy's has got a good burger now, I ain't gonna lie to you, but Harvest Moon's burger is delicious. Anyways, I'd like to get some Harvest Moon today. Maybe we will, but it's a really cool little spot here. Um, long story short here, back in the day when Miss Sonia Marchant, that owns Marchant Chevrolet, right up the road, you know, I, again, some of y'all know I did videos for Marchant Chevrolet for over almost 10 years. Uh, the owner was a lady, Miss Sonia Marchant, and uh, every day, like clockwork, Miss Sonia would leave the Chevy store with one of the ladies up there, and, uh, and she'd come down here for lunch. I mean, every single day. That's one thing I've noticed with, um, people that are a little bit older, uh, they, 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 they start to get on a schedule, and that's a smart thing to do, okay? But every day, Miss Sonya would go right there to Harvest Moon and, uh, and get a burger to eat or get something to eat. And uh, there was a couple times I actually went up there with her and sat down and enjoyed a good lunch with her, and uh, God rest her soul, she passed away a few years ago and had a stroke. But Miss Sonya, if it, um, man, if she was still around, I probably would still be at Chevy and Ford doing videos today. She's pretty much the main reason why I was able to stay there for so long. She had a big heart and uh, and she really, uh, she really, she, she enjoyed uh, me coming out there and doing the videos and all of that. It's a relationship. And, um, and her son, basically right after she passed away, he gave me about 12 months on board with him. And uh, you know, here's what happens guys. You know, when the owner passes and the son takes over, you know, a lot of times they want to implement their things and the way they want to do things. And uh, unfortunately, he uh, he figured out a way to go ahead and get me out of there and supposedly brought somebody else doing videos. But I have not seen any videos up on their website since. But it's okay. We might be back one day. You never know. Um, but anyways, guys, we got to get on a lot. We got a lot of customers out here. Let's make some videos and let's also sell some cars. The BMW is $7,500 cash. 75? Yes, today. Yeah, you got to sit in there, man. The seats, well, they wrap around you, the racing yeah, seats. I got it during. It's electric, you know. Yeah, I got a 750 BMW. Oh, you got the big body four door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. big body four door. Okay, that's, yeah, that's a luxury car. This is a, an electric sports car. Oh, this one? I, wanna, I can't get in there, mother. I uh, know, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get in there, man. Yeah, that's good. Because it's not a real car. I see. <laughs> I tricked you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, have fun, guys. All right. Yeah, guys, it's not a real car, man. I don't know how many people we play that game on, but um, it's fun getting a reaction out of folks. Man, that's a cool looking car out there. The BMW i8. Anyways, I got a 750. Well, man, you have never driven a BMW till you have driven a i8 electric car. Anyways. Let's get back. Man, we got a little music playing in here right now. This is um, Casey and JoJo. I will make love to you. To I make love to you. It's a great song. Um, anyways, Casey and JoJo. Man, they were a musical group. If some of y'all remember back in the day, the Backstreet Boys, In Sync. Let's take it to a different genre with the R&B. R. Kelly, oh yeah, R. Kelly. And then we got the KC and JoJo's and also um, the back, not the Backstreet Boys, but what was it? There was, there, was a, uh, there was a group of about four or five black guys that sang, oh God, New Kids on the Block? No, Which, what was their name? Gosh, man, they had some really good songs back in the day. It's gonna come to me, but um, who were they guys? Backstreet Boys? No. This is a boy group band, you know? They're real popular. They kind of gotten, music has kind of gotten to be a little different now, but um, oh gosh, if it comes to me, I'll let you know. All right, Mike Tyson just helped me out. That is actually the band called Boys to Men, not Casey and JoJo. Boys to Men. Are we gonna have a good week? 
We're gonna have a good week. <laughs> We're gonna have a good week. <laughs> He don't want to be on the camera, but man, he was on the video yesterday that came out this morning, and uh, man, it was a very nice moment when, when Mike Tyson came in and had some positivity on there for us. So we appreciate that, Mike Tyson. All right, guys, today's kind of turned into a bummer day, man. I haven't sold one car. Yeah. No, I don't. Uh-uh. Um, but it's kind of been a bummer today, man. We've, uh, it's a beautiful day. I think people just aren't out car shopping. I mean, we got a few people who came in, but I think people are really enjoying this beautiful weather we got, going out doing stuff. It's been a long day, guys, just so you know. Trailblazer, where you at? All right, everybody, we're gonna find the keys to the Chevy Trailblazer for this lady. Maybe we can um, get this figured out. Black right there. Get that off of there, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's been a day, guys. I'm gonna tell you all about it here shortly. Hey, I call I haven't sold a car all day today. What we got going on right now is I had a lady here, um, a few, actually night before last, and uh, looking at the Acura RDX. She called me around uh, five, six o'clock day, said she was on the way up here to uh, buy the car. And I told her, I said, well, you know, I told her basically something happened with the car and uh, the speed sensor went out on it and the brakes seized up on the vehicle. So we were, um, I, I told her on the phone that, and we had ordered the part to get it fixed. Basically, she said, well, I'm coming up, okay? I said, well, we had to order a part for the car to get it fixed before you can actually take it tonight because safety-wise, you can't drive the car with a bad speed sensor. When I drove the car, the, the speed sensor went bad on me when I was driving it, and the brakes seized up in the front and basically couldn't, couldn't pull off. I, anyways, the car just, it seized up and stopped. So we ordered the part and um, we got it. And I find out she pulls up in, in a lift car. Uh, it's like Uber. And, uh, and she gets out just about 20, 30 minutes ago, right when it got dark. And, uh, and she's, uh, she's getting out and um, I go inside and I'm figuring we got the deal, we're gonna do it. She's gonna be taking her car home tonight. And the technician walks up to me and he says, Chad, unfortunately, the company that we ordered the part from sent us the wrong part. She's not going to be able to drive the car home tonight. So she just caught a, uh, a lift ride from all the way up in North Charleston to here. And that cost her about $46 is what she told me. It's a good bit of money for a uh, taxi cab ride, basically. So anyways, so I'm figuring things out. I told her, I said, look, I said, she was on the phone with the insurance company. She went ahead and got insurance on the car. It's already faxed. We got it. The car's got insurance on it, but she can't drive it. I told her, I said, look here. I said, how about this? We'll go ahead and do the paperwork tonight. We'll go ahead and get you to pay for the car. It's your car. You got the car insured. Then tomorrow, you can come back and pick it up. I'll take you home up in North Charleston, since I live up that way. And I'll drop you off tonight back at the house. And uh, that's if you want to ride my old Honda CRV. But uh, I'll take you back home. And then tomorrow, you can come up here and pick the car up when it's all ready. So it seemed like that was gonna be what she was gonna do, okay? So anyways, next step, I say, come on inside. Let's go ahead and get the ball rolling. When she gets inside and we go to do the money, she pulls out a personal check from another man for the car. Now, unfortunately, we take debit cards, we take credit cards, we'll, we'll do those kind of deals, but we don't take checks personal checks you got to have cash or debit or credit card so currently at this particular time and moment the owner's in there talking with her right now but unfortunately she can't she can't take the car home tonight nor can she even pay for the car because she don't really have the funds and what we're dealing with here is we're dealing with a really pretty girl she's very pretty and she's got a guy that's buying a car for her. I guess he'd given her a check and said, we'll go up there today and pay for the car with a personal check. That ain't happening, brother. I'm sorry, bro, but it ain't happening. So uh, at this point, we don't take personal checks. 
I wish we did, but either way, she can't get home in the car tonight anyways. So, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I wish it would work out for you, but right now it's not. Now we have another lady back here right now that's doing business with me, looking at a Saturn view. She was also here yesterday, and her sister brought her back up here today. She's got the money, she's got the insurance, but she wants us to make this car perfect before she takes it home. So we're putting a battery on it, but that's about all I can do. So let's hope these, at least one deal today works out. And then also earlier today had a Dodge Ram customer. He bought the car, but his limit on his card was already exceeded for the day. I guess he spent a little too much tax money. He gonna have to come back tomorrow with the difference of the money to buy the truck. So that would have been three deals today. Looks like we're gonna have two deals banking for tomorrow. So hey, better than no deals going into the first week. 